Hello people, it's Buddy702 here and welcome back to our Let's Play Survival Series in 1.13.2. This is going to be a very interesting video because I've done a little bit of work and this is what I'm planning to do for the rest of the videos, like do progress updates and that there. So last last episode, episode 1, we discovered it's a lovely island with our spawn point being over there. We have now managed to put in a lovely little farm going along here, got some potatoes growing here. We've got managed to breed up our one chicken, which took a very long time. So I've just been trying to keep them bred. We've got one tree. We've sorted out our, all our lovely ingredients here. I've started to breed cows, and I've also light, lit up the island, if you may see. I've done this in rows. Around here, I've just done a little tiny little kelp farm sort of thing. So I can just go around and just destroy everything in here. Very simple, very easy. Quickly grab a few bits of kelp and then quickly plant it down what my plan is to eventually build a proper kelp farm where i'm not going to drown i want to build an automatic kelp farm so i can get myself some fuel which you can get from kelp and also mainly this is what i've just been using to survive and eat it's just kelp i've gone along and ahead and this is looking really nice seeing that there's lovely drowned over there i've been going along and I have, I have put in a lovely little sugarcane farm here. I've also enabled the lovely, what's it called, options, music and sound, subtitles, so you can see what's going on. I have improved our little tiny turtle farm. So I've just got a little bit of area down here so they can swim around and have a little bit of freedom and not be locked in the dry land. I'm eventually going to figure out how to breed these guys. Well, I did a little bit of Google, Googling to figure out that I need to get seagrass through that. No, not seaweed, not kelp, and not dried kelp. And I've also cleared the entire island of trees and grass. And there shouldn't be any spawn points in here, so there's very dense down below. And so today's episode, my plan is to get on a little boat, which I have created just down over there. As soon as it comes in today... Travel over to these different islands and get bits and pieces and supplies and also because I want to try and start building a lovely house out here, up here, but it's going to take a little while. I thought I'd build like a lighthouse sort of thing up here. And I've also done a little tiny tree farm sort of thing that I can just get a bit of wood from. But anyway, that's my plan for today. Maybe maybe in, the, in, in, the, in between times, get a lovely chickens, get chickens sorted to yeah, we need to get chicken farm so we get a good supply of food. And if I jump down here, I have dug in a giant hole down to here. And I have begun, begun digging the tunnels. So it's going to go down, and it's going to go down. And this is going to be my strip mine section. So every three back, every three blocks, you dig as far in as you can with your hand. And then this tunnel just goes down pretty much forever. Torch every now and then. And then you leave your gap in between your tunnel. And you come down and you do the same for this side here. So this is going to be the strip mine for the series, straight below our base. And this way here is just going to be a tunnel that's just going to be dug just in a very, very, very long direction. But with this tunnel, I'm going to be digging it in a very long direction. And then I'm probably going to be branching out from this one. So every probably three blocks, I'll be digging in like a long direction anyway. So it's going to start off with just a big main tunnel going down. It's going to start off with us... Oops... Let's just chuck that back there. I'm going to start out going like this. And this is just going to go forever and ever and ever. Leave a three gap. Dig down forever. That didn't take too long to get diamonds. Lovely. I hadn't actually come across any. And during the last episode in between when I, when I wasn't filming or anything or recording, it was raining. And I was just minding my own business. I knew the island was all light, lit up, so I couldn't um, have anything spawn on there. Lovely six diamonds. Um, and all of a sudden, I heard a noise. I was going, no. Nah. Oh, I heard a lot of drowns anyway. I was going, oh, yeah, dr drown, obviously, because I'm on an island. I can hear them. No. It turns out drowned can walk on land when it's raining. So that's another thing you have to watch out for when you're playing this game, is that Drowned can walk on land. And I was like... 
Have I miscounted? Seriously? Yeah, so I was a bit... A bit weird that they could do that. I've also come across some other weird things as well, but... Yeah, I'll probably come across them again later on in the game. But yeah, so mobs behaviour is different. I love the swimming method, how to do that. But the only thing that I have discovered so far about this is that yeah, it takes so long to climb up the ladder so i am planning to get find get to the as soon as i get to into the nether i'll get some soul sand and i can get some magma and then i can make a little stream that will shoot me up and shoot me down very quick which i think could be very cool according to the new mechanics of the game which i've seen in videos most of it i have not experienced and experienced in real life so anyway I'm going to chuck these in my ore box. Do I have enough torches? Yes, I've got a few torches in there. I'll chuck these in here. I know this is an ore box, but that's just where I've been keeping all my bits and pieces. Chuck that in there. And I will take a little bit of wood wood with me as well, just in case. I need that. Let is, let's gather up a little bit of this here. And keep this farm planted. Because we need to really keep our supplies up. And let's create our first piece of bread for the series. No, oh, I thought I thought I'd give it an achievement or something. Um, I need to try and keep myself fed, don't I? So let's quickly chuck some of that there in there, and I'll be back with you guys once it's finished cooking, I suppose you'd call it. See you then. Okay, I'm back, people, and I've got a little bit of food with us and. Some shears, because the main thing I really need to get is a lovely pair of sheep. I need three bits of wool, because I know there's those phantoms out there that will start coming around very shortly. Because I haven't slept, because we're currently on day... Hang on. Oh. What? I've also come across some very weird, like, glitches with water when you're using water buckets. But we're currently on day... Ooh. Day 6, so I'm pretty sure, I don't know how many days it takes before phantoms start spawning. But I really need to get that sorted. What? Because I do not want to be murdered by phantoms within a couple of... Oh, yep, there's sheep, that's good. Simple, sorted. Let's grab you, and... Can, can I push you across? Oh, that, that, that wasn't too bad. Do I got three bits? Yep, I've got three bits here. Well, I suppose I'm just going to... Steal these sheep and chuck them back on our island then. Since there's sheep right here, so we can get them bred up. I'll be back with you guys once I get these sheep back on the island. So yeah, see you then. We have got the first sheep in the boat. The boat. We've finally got one sheep in the boat. The boat. This is going quite well so far, which is really pretty good. So yeah, we've got our first sheep in the boat. And it's nearly night time by the looks of that, so let's just... Let's try and hit you without murdering you. There we go. Perfect. You've now got a home, sweet home. Now let's quickly row over and get the second sheep. See you then. Okay, I stand corrected. Drown can walk on the land. Actually, I might have played the clip just back then. Drown can somehow walk on the land. See how he's getting close? Is he going to do it again? See, why I thought Drown would bad. So they cannot just walk, not just in the water, um, during the uh, rain. They can walk on the land whenever they want, which is weird. For a second, I thought I just saw a creeper over there. Um, yeah, that, which is very, which is quite an actual pain, really. Because I don't think it's that fair that Drown can walk on the land. They drown zombies. It shouldn't be possible. Okay, anyway, so since it's night time, let's quickly harvest this wheat here. And let's just quickly breed up two more of these chickens. One, two. Chuck a bit more of this down, because I need to try and get myself a good farm. And there we go. That is now done. And we need to go into the food. Chuck that in the food. Mob drops. Chuck that in there. And now let's make our lovely bed. Do that. Do that. And we've now got our first bed of the series. Sweet dreams. Perfect. Okay, now let's just have a little bit more of our lovely dried kelp. 
or during thunderstorms, nice. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of stuff in here. Let's just quickly clear out a bit of that inventory. Let's chuck that into mob drops, and that there can go into food, that egg. Um, and I'll chuck this into food as well. Oops. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to looking around the island. Let's go function F3, function F2. Just in case I forget my coordinates, but it shouldn't be that hard. So it looks like we've got one island here, one island here, and another island over here, which is very interesting. Okay, people, we are now back from our little adventure. As you may notice, a little bit of jump here. We've got our lovely two turtles here, which we managed to breed. We've also got some lovely boots. So we've got our lovely first set of eggs here. But it has been a little bit of a time jump because my last ep my last recorded episode, which is about 15 minutes long, had no microphone turned on. I had that on mute still for some reason. And also, the second time I recorded the clip, it was also interrupted by other people. So I had to get rid of it. But we managed to go along, we managed to get, we managed to find an island, a big huge coral reef area. We got ourselves a lovely dark oak tree, and we also managed to get ourselves some lo some lovely pickles, which I think are pretty nice. I mean, yeah, so we got some lovely gear from out of the, uh, out of a treasure chest inside of a sunken ship, which was quite good. And I also managed, I also just got a little bit more coral as well, and I used the secateurs or shears to get ourselves some lovely seagrass to breed up those turtles. And then when I was over there as well, I also discovered some pumpkins, brought them back, and started planting them around. And yeah, that, that's all I've managed to do so far. And I've also got, yeah, not much at the start, but I'll eventually use it. I think it's, where did I put it? Be here, a lovely bio treasure map. I also announced what I'll be doing. I'm going to be aiming to get build myself a lovely pickle farm, a lovely auto kelp farm, so then I can also make kelp blocks of burning, a mob farm, which I plan to get done very shortly, an item sorter, a smelter, a lighthouse, and a lovely guardian farm, which is probably never going to occur. The lighthouse, I can't remember if I announced it just before, I've already forgotten, which is bad, is I'm going to start building it up over here. So I'm going to have a lovely big lighthouse up here. And somewhere out here, I'm probably going to have the lovely mob farm because it is like nice and deep area. And most of the caves in that below it should be, well, yeah, it'll be floating up in the air and it'll be a lovely design by Bumbo Jumbo. If that still works, I'll test it in my other world. And yeah, eventually I am planning to probably leave this island and go build somewhere else. Or we could just build a big, huge underground area place. But I'm not sure if that will work properly. But we've got our islands. We've got one island here, one island here, another small island over. Hang on, no, that's a small island over here. But that's all I've really got planned to do so far. So that's my plans for the next episode. But I also, also in the clip scene where I was going to end this episode off, I also discovered that we have a lovely swamp biome over in either in this direction or this direction. I kind of got a little bit turned around because I went to my ice walker boots and did a huge bit of walk around the area. But then that's when, as soon as it comes to full moon, we'll quickly scoot over there and we'll get ourselves some lovely sticky piston stuff. But yeah, we've got our lovely item store that I want to get built up shortly. I might actually build just down below this island and have it set up as a main sort of island area or just have some random chests. But I am planning to. I'm going to try my best to try and within the next 10 episodes, this is my goal, 10 episodes, get to the nether, and maybe possibly the end, which is probably going to be very, very, very unlikely since we've got a very limited amount of land around here to get ender pearls and that. But yeah, in between now and next episode, I'm going to do a huge amount of mining, get a huge amount of lovely supplies to build this lighthouse, and I'm going to do a lot more just grinding to get trees. Hopefully get at least a couple turtle eggs to pop up. I'm not sure how those work. I haven't seen that many videos on them. And yeah, might start looking at designs for kelp farms and that. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this somewhat short episode. It would have been longer if I had the mic not muted. But yeah, thanks you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Cue the outro. You can be my new thing.